It is week four of the Canadian Premier League in 2024. We're at Starlight Stadium in Langford, BC for Pacific FC against York United. Lots of changes from the team that uh, beat TSS Rovers in the Canadian Championship. Seven changes in all for Pacific. Back are Gazdov, Yates, Zanata, Hurd, Moore, Mayor Jaguer and Allian Dom. York United make five changes to the team beaten by Forge on Wednesday. Into the lineup, Denis Solanovic, Clement Bahia, Oswe Martinez, the Mexican midfielder, Hayden Martin Peru, we think will be on the left hand side of the back line. Another of the new faces in the York United lineup this season. Alongside this man Higgins in the center of defense. Lajeunesse in quickly and allowed to run. Touch inside for Yates, he'll go for goal. It's a couple of feet wide, Stefan Yates, but it was worth taking the shot on. Absolutely, why not? It just opens up for him. Takes a touch. The press, Samaro trying to keep it going. It'll find its way to Caden Perot. Babuli, flatter delivery. Managed to find Solanovic. Mr. Noshin Rivani just having a word with a couple of opponents. Touch tight, but no bear hugging, says the referee. As Yates prepares to deliver again, this time from the far side. Right footed, decent ball, and Dom, it needed the save. But Rion Moore was Johnny on the spot and couldn't miss from three yards. And Pacific have the opening goal. And Rion Moore has his first goal in the Canadian Premier League. The Tritons lead by a goal to nil. It's a perfect ball from Yates. Bahia trying to get involved. Solanovic as well is there. Bahia, square ball, Babuli used his body well. Finds right, goes for goal. Couple of feet wide, and there was almost an immediate response from Brian Wright. He cleared it temporarily, 25 minutes gone. Rion Moore's first CPL goal after 14 minutes. The difference. The shot coming in again this time, Vincenzini solidly behind it. But I'm sure he'll be keen to continue and add to his goal tally if he can. Another Pacific free kick across the edge, goal. Zanata couldn't quite get there. Abatne launches it forward, looking for right, got his head on it. And then Ndom took responsibility as Gazdov came. Clever skills from Ndom. And Josh Hurd continues the forward movement. It's well done by Josh Hurd. He might spring something here. Moore's got it, he's a little isolated, needs a bit of help. Finds it on that far side, Zanata. Will he take the shot on? He will! Couple of feet wide from Dario Zanata. But it was an effective counter-attack from Pacific. They're threatening that second goal, Jim. Yeah, that all starts with Josh Hurd. Go run down the line. Batney knocks it forward, looking for Brian Wright again. This time beyond and on. Brian Wright, side netting. A great opportunity for Brian Wright, but he couldn't hit the target. That was a great ball over top. Put it into the stands and then deal with it after. Rather than not doing anything and then all of a sudden you concede it. Silly mistake. Went in doubt, belted out. Never seen anybody score from the stands of you. <laughs> Don't think so. Martin Perot across the face of goal, and right was unmarked. Confirmation of the changes. A debut, by the way, for young Jason Hartill. Wearing 13, there he is, just 20 years of age. And across the face of goal, and this time it is in. And Adelaide Reid with just about his first touch of the ball. 
sweeps it in. And Pacific FC do have their second. Ferrari might have got the last touch. It might have been going in anyway. But Adonai de Reed struck it first time and doubles Pacific lead. The Tritons lead York United by two goals to nil. So another chance to attack and put some icing on the cake for Pacific. Not been a happy day so far for Vincenzini. As Turcovano prepares to deliver left footed. Interesting. All the way through indeed to the French goalkeeper in the end as Young and Reed try to get a telling touch. Maybe a little more. But Ali and Dom is determined to have a crack. And a crack he had. And away comes Quintana. And Turcuvano. And the referee has seen enough, I believe. And Mr. Noshin Ravani blows his final whistle. And it is another win and another clean sheet. A record-breaking fourth clean sheet for Pacific FC.